Hi, Simon Ryden here, just giving you another lesson on Navionics and uh, in this one we're going to look at um, setting up uh, a route using waypoints that we've put in. So if we uh, have a look and we put our cross here, you see when we hover over it, it tells us what our uh, marks are. So we can see that Draper's Reef and we know that's the start. So we can uh, put our start mark there. So we'll go to route and we're going to do a manual route and we're going to put our start on top of Draper's Reef. Then we're going to kind of come out here and then we're going to come to here and we're going to finish here. Oh, I've done the wrong thing there. We'll move that one down there and we want to finish here. So we've basically set up our route and if we now go and review our route you can see our start wasn't correct so that needs to go there and then we need to move our mark here and then we need to move this one oh I've hit that damn thunder forest thing again which I've talked to you about before so we'll just go back here the system reboot and so we'll take our oh I've done it again so let's go back to where we were just remember to move so when you're working on the screen if you're anywhere near this maps thing here it is very irritating it keeps getting in your way so we'll move number two and we'll go over here and grab number three and put it back where it should be so we'll go in a bit closer so we can see where we are and we'll put that in that mark there and so you can see where i can go a bit closer to this mark number two here if we need and we can just edit our position there and if we go right on our starting mark there so if we and I'm doing the wrong thing again so we'll go back to boating and remember when you want to do things is very important that you use the pluses and minuses and don't pink your fingers because you always get that thing so if we look at our route and we can see here we've now got some serious trouble with our route here so we need to grab both of these lines and move the first one and move it a bit further out so you can bring your original one into the mark so you can have a look here we'll go close in at this point we want to see because you see if you look on Cape Shank there there's some rocks and things there so we want to give that a bit of clearance and then on the way back we're going to come pretty close to that as well so we can probably sneak in a little bit more and there we've set up our route and if we go and look along here we've got no problems with rocks or anything and we can see that we're not quite at the fairway buoy which is here and so put ourselves on top of the fairway buoy and we've got that route done so if we use the controls and we have a look at our route we can see that our route is and i can recommend that all you apprentice navigators is go into the biggest um, the most magnified screen you can and just check that your route is all good so remember again we push go and the thing that we haven't done is we need to make sure that we remember to go to our route and go to the details and in the details screen here we'll come up to where it says route 24 and we will make this coastal sprint race And so there we've done that and uh, we push return and we can see up here the race length up the top here is 55 miles 
um, because we haven't set it up quite right. It's telling us it's going to use 62 litres of fuel, but we are a sailing boat, so that won't happen. And at our current speed, it's saying two days, so that'll be a long time, so we won't do that. But anyway, that's how you do it. Thanks very much.